All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how to load a kayak on top of a truck or car by yourself. This works on most kayaks. I have an Outback here, a Hobie Outback. I've also used it on a Hobie Pro Angler 12 and a Hobie Oasis. Uh, the Oasis is 14 and a half feet long, roughly. Um, it works on all those. A big, big, big kayak like a Pro Angler 17 wouldn't really work on just because of the weight, but should work on most others. So one thing you want is a, an area rug like this, like a long uh, six foot runner, just to help protect your car and your paint right here. Usually if you do it right, it doesn't even matter, but better to have it and be safe than to scratch up your car. So put a runner here, pads on the racks. Slide the kayak into your bed. Let's get rid of the wheels here. Climb up inside. So basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lift it up to here, get it to a point where it's not gonna fall off the back, then go to the back and push it the rest of the way up. This is probably the trickiest part, just getting it up on top and not letting it slide back. I caught the back end on the lip of the bed here. Now all I have to do is just lift it up and push it the rest of the way. You could carry it like this, I like to flip it over upside down so it's aerodynamic so the kayak's being pressed against the truck instead of trying to come off the truck. So what I'll do next is I'll just kind of scoot it. Over towards the uh, right edge here. Then I will come up on the sides, grab it. Flip it over. And there we go. tie it down and we're good it's basically just the exact opposite when we take it off but I'll show you that next now we're gonna take the kayak off the truck basically the same thing just in reverse so again I put the carpet here just to protect the back we're gonna flip it and then slide it down we're gonna put this part right here up against this notch and then slowly get it over that slide it off the back put the wheels in and then just walk off with it want to control your descent here you don't want it to slide off out of control and fall off your truck just make sure it's centered slowly gonna put it over that lip kind of gonna have to hold on to the bars and handles otherwise it'll just slide down at this point I like to use the uh, pedal drive hole and then grab the front just ease it off 
set it down. Grab the wheels. unloaded a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just put the gear on the side unload the kayak throw all the gear in the kayak then you can just haul everything back to the house all together same thing works on most kayaks like I said a really big one like the Pro Angler 17 won't really be able to do that which is due to the size and weight but even our tandem Oasis I've taken that out by myself and I've used the same method to get it up there without any help uh, any questions or comments, any tips for other viewers maybe, uh, just leave a comment below and uh, we'll see you guys next time.